Yeah, I haven't. Oh, and it's recording now. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Giving people a couple extra minutes to filter in right now. While I look for a video sample for Janine. I don't think they have one here. Well, that's a bummer. We tried. It's a little slow. I think this could I trouble one of you to help me with this just to move this over here. I thought it was on wheels and I know I I'm wish like, it was on wheels. Like, yeah, we just gotta be yeah, careful not to unplug it. Should be long long. Yeah. Yes. Alrighty. That'll be good. Erica, and I know you can, I think you can make this it's smaller so that it's not blocking you. There we go. Okay, it's not as big. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. I just don't see anything. Do you need to turn it around? Yeah. You did. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm good. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your fault. I'm just, I'm going to walk a little bit uh -huh. and I might sit a little bit so just be patient <laughs> so let me see I'm going to open this up just a little bit just to see if there's anybody else here I don't think so okay I don't think it's going to be in the way anyhow yeah Give everybody about two minutes. Let me let me just get your name since you guys are both here. Hi, thank you. <laughs> I'm Taylor. Taylor, yes. nice to meet. Have we met before? Yes, we did. Um, when you had the last class here and everything, you were at the front. Yes, and I hope to set up. Okay, I was like, mm, wait a minute, uh -huh. I know your face. <laughs> okay, okay. It's good to see you. So are you an agent now? Um, no, or, not yet. Okay. Maybe next year. <laughs> okay. We'll gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. So what are you doing for Keller Williams? Um, so I'm their agent care coordinator. So I'm helping all the new agents on board. So, gotcha. Yeah, so gotcha. Going to these classes will help because they always have definitely. questions for me. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, good. You're representing a lot of people then. Awesome. And what was your name? My name is Sharon Sokol. I'm the broker in charge here and agent. So I actually do stuff so awesome well nice to meet you nice to meet you and so it'll be good to hear what you got to say because i teach classes and it would be good to give them some corners sure actually i may need a few of those cards because if i okay. talk about it and i can okay. share it with them they'll Absolutely. say do you have a business card yes i do <laughs> Thank Absolutely. you. Yeah, if you and if you have a card too, I can just add it to my list. Okay, just as when well. you get ready to leave, just ask them to give you a card and they'll pass you one. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sharon and Taylor. Yep. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Well, I don't know. What What do you guys think? You guys tell me if we want to go ahead and get started. It's ten after now. Okay. Are we yeah, good okay. to go? Okay. Well. Thank you for having me. <laughs> my name is Sheree Medeiros and I am the owner of First Impression Home Staging. My partner is Janine Matthews and she is the owner of JR Photography. Unfortunately, there was 
a good family emergency that popped up that she wasn't able to attend today, but we've done our classes enough together that I should be able to wing it good enough for her to get the point across of what we do. So Janine is super sweet and she, we both work our businesses full time. Okay. So let's see, can I see this side a little bit better? I don't really feel like I can. So again, like I said, my name is, my name is Sheree and I am the owner of First Impression Home Staging. We are a full service home staging company. And what does that mean? That means we will help clients or homeowners that are living in the home that they need to list, list as well as the clients that have moved out and they need all of the furniture art and accessories mm -hmm. for that. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in depth. Um, I am professionally trained, I'm insured. Um, I have a full team of employees. There's about 10 of us right now. We're covered by workman's comp, everything. So we are completely legit. Um, same with Janine, she is the owner. She is full service. So she provides photography, video, Matterport and measurements. So she's one of the few, if not the only one, I believe she might be the only one that offers all four services. Okay. So she is also professionally trained and insured. I'm not one that she offers measurements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. photography. Yep. Okay. So we'll, oh. Yeah. So we'll talk about that. She's got a full package that has everything that I think she needs to raise her prices because I think okay. it's a lot of work. <laughs> but she's amazing at what she does. She really truly is. Okay. So what I'm here to talk to you about is your brand. Your brand is an agent. What does that mean to you? Okay. Where, where do people see your brand? They see it in the online photos, on your website, on your social media, um, anywhere else online, right? The pictures of the homes that you're listing are representing your brand. So we're here to help you get those pictures to look amazing, right? So what else, where else are people seeing your brand? At open houses. Right. I've had this happen a couple of times. I've had neighbors come through an open house that we've staged and they're not thinking about who staged it. They're thinking about the agent. The agent made this house look this good. The agent got this much money over list. That's what I'm using. It's happened a handful of times. So we've staged several houses on the same street at times. Okay. So the neighbors of your clients, kind of the same thing, right? At, the, at those open houses if they go to the open house or even if they just hear the story of what happened with the sale of their home, those neighbors are paying attention and they're silently interviewing you. But when they are ready to sell, they can say, hey, Joan, who was your agent? Like, I need to use that person, mm -hmm. okay? So your client's results and their satisfaction speaks about your brand. And that is super, super important, as you know. So let me ask you this. We've got two people here. The one on your left walks in, she says she's a home stager. The one on the right also says she's a home stager. Who are you going to hire? Well, they're the same people. Yeah. <laughs> in a better sense. Yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> Most people don't realize this is the same person. Yes. I just <laughs> See, knew the, I've seen the movie. Okay. Right? If you haven't seen Monster, whew, I literally, I get chills every yes. time I think about that movie. She is amazing in that movie. She is. But it's about the presentation that's right right like automatically if you don't know that this is Charlize Theron now you do know um, but you're gonna hire the one on the left mm -hmm. because she is presenting herself well we're gonna mm -hmm. do we want to do the same thing for our listings mm -hmm. okay super important to do that oh here's where I'm gonna move this little <laughs> thing because it is gonna oh, be no, in the way not... huh there we go Okay, so would you believe if I showed you this, that this is a $650,000 listing? Not with that cost. Mm -mm. It's looking a little boring, right? Mm -hmm. Do we know what kind of room this is? It looks like an office, maybe. I don't know, but it's nice. It has some nice uh, yeah. things on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the shelving is nice. The flooring is beautiful. But do we like when you're looking at that as a listing photo, you don't really know what it is, mm -hmm. right? Your buyers are kind of looking at it like, well, I don't, I don't know what this room is. They're probably going to click through it pretty quickly, mm -hmm. right? How about now? Mm -hmm. Now, do we know what this room is used for? Yes. Mm -hmm. And now, do we believe this is a $650,000 home? Mm -hmm. The only thing that we changed aside from staging the home is the ceiling light, yeah. right? That ceiling light 
originally just wasn't appropriate for the home. Mm -hmm. So I made a, one small recommendation for this room and, and through a couple of other rooms in this home, but for this room in particular, mm -hmm. I made that one small adjustment for them. It was a $159 fan at Home Depot. So it didn't nice. really cost them a whole lot of money mm -hmm. except for just putting it up, mm -hmm. right? So they hired somebody to put it up because they'd already moved out of state. Um, so I ask like, which picture here do you want to represent your brand, mm -hmm. right? Right, the one on the right, you want it to present well. You want your buyers to know, you want your buyers to be emotionally attached. I think the last time I presented this class, one of the agents says, I want that up, that for my home office. Mm -hmm. Can you like, can you do that for me? And I will tell you, yes, I can. <laughs> So we actually are often asked that from our clients and the homeowners are like, oh my gosh, you made my house look so great. Can you come and make my new house look like this too? Mm -hmm. So a lot of them have us come back. It's a lot of fun working with them again. There we go. So what's the secret to creating your brand? It is the professional staging and it is the professional photography. Okay. The way that you guys feel about for sale by owner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right like it it kills me i actually had a home that i staged and it looked beautiful and then the agent used her cell phone to take pictures and i was like oh man really like it could look because it looks so much better in person but the cell phone pictures just they just don't do it any justice and it looks very flat it just doesn't it, you don't have that feeling, right? And that's what we're selling. We're selling a lifestyle. We're selling the feeling to the buyers. We're creating those emotional attachments because once they're emotionally attached, boom, the higher offers, okay? So what is home staging? Home staging is more than just putting pretty things in the house, okay? It's not interior design. It's not interior decorating. It's not all about making things pretty because the focus of the, of the home shouldn't be the staging items. Mm -hmm. right. It should be the home, mm -hmm. right? So we are professionally trained to know how to arrange furniture so that the eye is drawn to certain areas, right? So that the eye is drawn to the fireplace or maybe it's drawn to the view or maybe it's drawn to, I don't have it on this one. Um, maybe it's drawn to a special wall mm -hmm. in the home. I think I have that picture coming up here pretty soon. But yes, it is fun to put some of these accessories in, right? We like to take out the homeowner's personality. Mm -hmm. We still like to add a little bit of personality into the home. Okay. So this is some samples of some of those vignettes that we put mm -hmm. throughout the home. But they're done purposefully. Stop the eye here and get them to see this. Stop the eye here and get them to see this. Stop it here, see this. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So there's a strategy behind the whole thing. Okay. So let's talk about the, the first service that I offer. Okay. It is the occupied, the owner occupied homes. Okay. What we do is a consultation. The consultation is a full two hour. Um, yeah. You know what? Let me, let me back up a little bit. I'm sorry. There's two services for those owner occupied. There's the home consultation or there's the photo prep. Okay. So what is the process? We will do the consultation that is up to two hours and we are going through the home kind of with a fine tooth comb with the homeowners. We're talking about all of the updates necessary. Maybe we need some paint colors. I'm going to talk to them about their furniture placement. And if we have time, a lot of times we do, we, have, we will start setting up some of their accessories so they get mm -hmm. kind of the idea. If there isn't enough time because there's a lot happening in the home or maybe it's a large home or there's some other extenuating circumstances, maybe it's a stay-at-home mom with two toddlers and she's like, I can't do all of this work. I can get like, I can hire out for some of this big stuff, but I don't know how to put these accessories together. Mm -hmm. They leave, I come back in and do a photo prep. So that's kind of the difference between those two, okay? Here's an example of, one of those photo preps. Okay, this is the before picture. So when I walked in the home, this is kind of what we were dealing with. So I took a look around and I at, and I said, okay, I want you to do this furniture. Can you borrow some chairs from, from your mom that lives down the street? Like we need to put some art over here. 
So they got some of that big stuff done mm -hmm. for us and gave us some extra inventory that they put in the garage. We came back in and we transformed the space from this. It looked a little dark and dreary. And dare I say the word cluttered, mm -hmm. right? It's just a bit overfilled and you don't really know like where to look first. And then we took it to this, okay? Wow. We opened up the space using the items that the homeowner already had or was able to borrow, okay? I did have them purchase a few things like some fresh towels, I think, and some lemons or limes or I don't even remember what it was, but some, like I gave them a small shopping list, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing nothing major, but something doable because I want to meet those clients where they are. I want to meet their financial needs and I want it to make sense for them. Okay. So that was a difference that we can get from occupied home to still occupied, but now it's staged and it looks much nicer. This particular home, this was way before the market went crazy. It had on within eight hours, eight offers, and it went for $8,000 over list. Thought it was kind of a cool that it was all eight, eight, eight. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll never forget that one. So pretty cool. Okay, so now what is vacant home staging? Vacant home staging is a little bit different. These are in those certain circumstances where the homeowner has moved out, right? Because they had another home or they were transferred to out of state or whatever it was, right? It happens a lot that they've had to move out ahead of time. So we are able to bring in all the furniture, art and accessories. We've got a full growing warehouse right now. We're at about 3,000 square feet at the moment, but we are kind of, we're, we're growing rapidly and we're actually in the process of looking for a 9,000 square foot property so that we can get everything kind of all together and operate even smoother than we do now. Okay, so what's the idea of vacant staging? It is to increase that appeal, mm -hmm. okay? Because even now when the, like the market, we kind of feel like it's all right, maybe we're kind of leveling off now, right? It's not quite as crazy. Um, the vacant home staging will help define rooms. You'll see an example of that. It helps build that emotional connection, right? It gives them something else to look at besides the broken switch plates or maybe the little tiny stain or the scratched up floors or the lived in this, that, and the other thing. We're letting them know that, hey, that little stuff kind of doesn't matter because look at what it looks like and look what it feels like when you get your stuff in here. You don't notice the broken switch plate anymore or whatever it is, right? The little tiny flaws that are kind of meaningless, okay? We don't give those buyers that time to kind of take all that in and start deducting the price in their heads, okay? So here's a before picture. This home, this was in 2000 and 19, I believe. This home sat on the market in Cary, about the 425 price range, I think it was, listed in June and it sat for two months. No home in Cary should sit for two months in June. It just shouldn't happen. No. House two doors down was staged and it was sold in 48 hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she didn't understand. She says, I don't understand. This kitchen is beautiful. We just remodeled it. This should sell the home. And I said, you're absolutely right. But did it? <laughs> She's like, no. I'm like, okay. So this is what we're going to do. We actually, I said, if it's sit, if it was sitting for that long, like even a vacant home shouldn't be sitting there for that long, I brought my contractor in with me to the home. Mm -hmm. So we can do like a quick one hour vacant consultation because I will offer that as well when we know that there's problems. And I gave her a punch list. And I said, I need you to, you know, this is what buyers are going to see. They're going to want you to change out the fans. They're going to want to remove the popcorn ceiling. They're going to want a more updated fireplace. It, like these things need to be removed. These things need to be painted. This punch list was about $15,000. Pretty certain she wanted to punch me in the throat. So I was really glad we were on the phone <laughs> when I told her this, right? Because she was mad. And I said, I understand that you're upset. I said, but I'm giving you what the actual cost is. Your buyers are probably going to think it's $30,000 worth of work. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is what I want you to do. I just want you to do these couple of little things. Mm -hmm. We're not going to bother with the ceiling fan or the popcorn ceiling. We are going to distract from that. I'm not going to cover it, but we're going to distract from that by staging. Right. Okay. So she did. She finally agreed. Literally, it took like a month to convince her. Mm -hmm never worked so hard <laughs> for a job ever, but 
I did. We worked and, you know, with her agent convincing her as well, we got her to stage the home and do just literally a couple of updates. Mm -hmm. One was the fireplace, like the surround, there was a piece of, of brass. I said, have my contractor just spray paint that black. Right. Instantly modernizes it, right? right? There's another room. I'm pretty sure that it's in my presentation that we'll talk about. It was painting this one room mm -hmm. so that I can define it because it was way too dark. And there were some broken shutters in the bathroom mm -hmm. that I said, just remove them. We don't need to replace them. We just need to remove them. Mm -hmm. So her all-in investment was now less than $5,000 with the staging and those repairs. And we we're able to transform her space from this to this. Okay. Now, what do we see? Right. Right. We see now the beautiful floors. Now we see a room that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Now we see a room that coordinates with the kitchen a little bit better. Yeah. Right. We've completely elevated the perceived value of this home. Okay. They listed Saturday after Thanksgiving. And by 2 p.m., they had their first offer. Pretty good. So yeah. that was their first offer. They had, it was a multiple offer situation. Mm -hmm. So, and again, this is 2019. We weren't getting like over list prices quite so much, right? Yeah. Like now it's, you know, what is it? 10 to 15% over list is kind of the average. Yeah, it's, well, some of it's even crazier than that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's some people who get 100,000 over asking for yeah, I had one of my listings actually went for 201 over over list. So yeah, it's crazy. Like our our average is more like 20 to 25 percent over list with the staged homes. So is staging worth it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, those clients were really happy. They never expected that. Right. Okay. So here's another example. <laughs> so <laughs> This is not a listing photo. I will preface by saying that this was when I went to go see the home. Okay. okay. And they wanted me to stage the home. They, they said, yes, we're, we have another house that we can move into. So whatever of our stuff you can use, mm -hmm. like, can you do that? And I looked around and I'm like, no, I can't. And the agent told me ahead of time, she says, they're going to tell you this. She says, but Sheree, their stuff isn't good. So convince them to move out. Yes. Okay. I don't make a habit of like convincing people to move out, but when the agent asked me to do that, that's what I'm going to do. Right. Right. But I was completely hundred percent truthful with them. Mm -hmm. Right. And I told them, I said, listen, like if I'm going to come in and stage this home and use some of your items and still bring my items, I'm not saving you any money because of several reasons. Number one, now I have to design around your stuff which takes me a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. So that design time just goes up. Um, and you're now going to have to move out twice right. instead of once. Right. And you're going to have to live without your sofa or without your, you know, without your bed, because you guys are going to have to share the queen size bed as opposed to the king size bed. Right. Like it just kind of doesn't make any sense. Just you have to take it out all of it anyways, because I just told you you have to replace the carpet that's 20 years old yeah. and you have to paint the whole house. Why do you want to bring it back and take it back out? Yeah. Like I made it like, again, I was completely honest with them. Right. But I was keeping the agent happy because that's what she needed to tell the homeowners. So very quickly, like my, the, the wife that sat there like this the whole time and totally doubted me finally relaxed and said, okay, you can stay to the house. <laughs> <laughs> that does make that doesn't make sense. Okay, like she was completely at ease, right? So thank goodness. <laughs> but what I wanted to bring out, but why I showed this picture in particular, is we also want to be really careful not to stage homes using decor for a season because that automatically dates the listing for you. Hello. Uh -huh. So we want to be very careful about that. Okay. Um, this is our before picture and after we staged the home with our inventory. Oh, wow. We've made a huge difference, right? Mm -hmm. I know you just stepped in, so I don't know if you saw that before picture. Yeah, but <laughs> it's looking a little cramped. Yeah. A little? 
right? Yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> being that's, nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to look like the same house. Yeah, I'm no. going to do a list team. No. I'm just sitting here thinking, gosh, I got to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there's the before, there's the after. And no, it is not the trick of an angle or anything like that. Um, it is, we use proper size furniture. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got rid of the big giant hutch that was literally taking up square footage, mm -hmm. right? Because what are we selling in this home? The square footage. Yes. Right? We're not necessarily, yes, we have some pops of colors over here because I'm, I'm drawing, like over here, I'm drawing their attention to the blue so mm -hmm. they can see this big wall. Mm -hmm. Right. Back over here, the blue, look at the fireplace. Back over here, look at the blue, look at the view. Mm -hmm. Right, that's what we're doing in our staging. Mm. Okay, we're making sense of all of, of of all of these things without having them stop here, stop here, stop here, stop here. Like, yeah. it's it's exhausting for the brain, mm. <laughs> right? To have to see all of that stuff and not see the home. Mm. Now we see the home. Yeah. Okay, so that's a that's a difference a stage makes. Okay, so what is the process? of staging a vacant home, okay? The first thing is I'm either viewing the home in person or online. It kind of depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. Some homes you can kind of see online. Yep, I get it, I can see what the flow is, no big deal. Mm -hmm. Other homes have unique layouts or unusual circumstances and the agents will tell me, mm, you probably want to come and see this because there is a space over here, we don't even know what to do with this. Mm -hmm. So I'll go in and I'll view the home. And sometimes they'll just walk through and video for me and send it that way. So whatever we do, it doesn't matter to me. Okay, so I will submit a proposal to the, typically it's the homeowners or the sellers that are paying for the service, mm -hmm. okay? If you are an agent that does like the six or 7%, um, what, what's the word? Commission? Commission, Commission right? Okay, <laughs> yeah. sorry, I totally lost my word for a second. <laughs> um, if you're doing like six to 7% and you want to include that, then I would submit that proposal to you, okay? Once I have approval, then I'm sending a contract and ask for signatures on that contract. Mm -hmm. Then payment is due. Once all of that is done, then we get you on the schedule, mm -hmm. okay? Why do we ask for payment ahead of time? Because most of the work is done prior to stage day. Right. Okay, we start with designing and preparing. That takes anywhere from probably six to 10 hours for a typical home, okay, a typical 3,500 square foot home, mm -hmm. let's say, okay? Um, stage day takes another 30 to 40 man hours, yeah. okay? Because we have to load up. It takes a couple of guys to do that. Like, here's, I don't do this by myself. Yeah. Y'all, totally like, good. I'm too old. <laughs> <laughs> and I hurt now. <laughs> So because there are days that I am lifting sofas, not by myself, but anyhow, so it takes a full team of people to get this done, right? Um, so that was 30 to 40, 40 hours for that team. And then we have to come back afterwards to destage the property, which is another 12 to 15 hours. Mm -hmm. So you'll see if you add it up, it's about 50 to 70 hours worth of work mm -hmm. that goes into a stage, okay? Plus, it costs money for the truck and the insurance and the warehouse space and all of these things. Okay, but that is the process for, for kind of the timeline of how things work. Are you still writing? I saw you writing over there. So oh, I'm glad. You're, you're good? good? Thank okay. You. Thank you for awesome. waiting. Of course. Okay, so what's the difference between what the agent invests and what the homeowner invests? Typically, the staging consultation is paid for by the agent, okay? You do not have to by any means, okay? But it's one of those things, it's one of those things that you can offer that is a value add to the service that you provide, okay? Because that just makes you look better. You're like, oh, you know, I'm going to have my stager come in and she's going to do a consultation for you. You kind of don't really give them the option you can if you want to, but when you say it that way with kind of kind of with conviction and just saying like, hey, I'm going to have the stager come in, part of my team, blah, blah, blah. She's going to help you out. She's going to tell you exactly what you need to do for the home because I leave that in the hands of the expert. I am the real estate agent. Like my thing is the numbers because what sells a home, it's price and presentation. Mm -hmm. So you as the agent are going to worry about the price. Your stager is going to worry about the presentation. Okay. 
With those two perfectly combined, you will have success. Okay, typically the photo prep could be either the agent or the homeowner. Okay, a photo prep service starts at about 750 for me. So that's just one of those things it's it's going to depend. Like if it's a if it's a million dollar listing, the agent's gonna say, yes, it's worth it for me to pay for that. I have no problem paying you a thousand dollars or whatever it is, right? Because it's that price. I say it starts at 750, but it can go up to who knows what. It's all gonna depend on how much inventory do they need or do I need to bring inventory at all? Because we will bring an in inventory into an occupied home depending on the situation. I'm a little bit picky, right? Because is, is the home filled with pets and little children? Mm, it's gonna be very limited what I can or cannot bring. Or I may offer some shopping services for them, okay? But I'm gonna meet the client where they are and I'm gonna help them how they need to be helped. Okay. So you provide the furniture when you say, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah, so all of the, uh, yeah, well, this is an example of one too. But yeah, we have, I think you missed that part. So yes, we yeah, do, we are a full service home staging company. So we have a warehouse of inventory, okay. furniture, art, accessories for everything. Okay. Okay. If we don't have a piece that is really needed, I will go out and buy it mm -hmm. because I want to make sure that it's staged properly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that photo prep service, it can be paid for either one. It's just going to depend on the situation and what the agent is comfortable with. And I have some agents that will say, hey, I'll pay for half, mm -hmm. okay, to ease that load for the, for the seller. Okay. But that vacant staging, that really should be the seller's investment mm -hmm. because they're the ones that are going to get the highest return, okay. right? A $5,000 staging job is going to get them $125,000 over list. Mm -hmm. If you were to pay for that, that's eaten up a good portion of your of, of, of your pay, right? Mm -hmm. That's taking, that's taking food away from your table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, if you're doing that 7% and you're including that as part of your listing presentation, then that's a different story. Okay. Because, and I'm sure I say this some, at some point in the presentation is the, the average or the national average investment for vacant home staging is anywhere between one half and 1%. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing 7%, then you know you're covered. Mm -hmm. So you're good, okay? So I do wanna share a few staging tips with you. What do I say? I said all the things you need to know that you didn't know you needed to know, mm -hmm. okay? I'm not gonna talk about your typical declutter, do this, do that, okay? Just a couple of kind of maybe things that you hadn't thought about in, in the past, okay? Oh, here's an example. So the room on the left, that was that same house that I talked about earlier. I don't know. Uh, it, was, it was right before you came in. Mm -hmm. I talked about paint colors. Mm -hmm. Now, the side walls were literally like Hershey syrup brown. Mm -hmm. It was so dark. And you see how like it, that room, this is an actual listing photo. Okay, I took it right off of MLS. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that was the listing photo. The room looked small, narrow, and it was undefined. So buyers were like, I don't even know what to use this space for. It was right off of the living room. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was weird. So I talked to the homeowners. I'm like, I don't even know what this space is. What did you use it as? And she was like, oh, it was kind of his man cave. I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, I don't want to stage, as a, stage it as a man cave. I said, but home office, that makes more sense. Let me turn this into a home office. So we literally, they had a whole bunch of gray, shades of paint left over in the garage so mm -hmm. the painter said well instead of buying she just mixed it all together and created this beautiful color right. <laughs> so they got a custom color because they just needed it for the one room they painted it we staged it now the room looks so much bigger and it's mm -hmm. defined mm -hmm. and it looks so much more appealing than the hershey syrup room okay but the paint was the only thing that was changed so I also want to bring attention to a couple of things over in this photo is you can see like one of the first things that buyers are seeing over here is those dark walls. Mm -hmm. Okay. But they're also saying, what the heck is all of this stuff? Mm -hmm. And there's a plate switch missing over here. And it's just like those, mm, they're still mm -hmm. there. Like I didn't cover, I didn't really cover in the photo it happened to cover, but we didn't cover the fact that she didn't want to replace these things. Why? I don't know, because it's a 99 cent thing, mm -hmm. but okay. 
<laughs> whatever. And we didn't necessarily cover this because all of those wires are still there. You can kind of see them, but we distracted from it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because for me as a home stager, it is completely unethical for me to cover up the flaws in the home. Yeah. Okay. I am not going to put an area rug over a stained carpet. Right. Mm, that's a big old no-no in my book. Right. Okay. okay. Any stager that's willing to do that, you need to run. Okay. okay. Not willing to do that. Okay. In the primary bedroom, I always talk about the pillows. Okay. When you walk into a bedroom, when you see the pillows flat, you kind of like start to turn flat, right? <laughs> and it's a little sleepy feeling. We don't want that. I want those pillows to be straight up up and down, sitting upright, because when they're upright, you're upright, happy, like this life of luxury, it elevates the bed, it just makes it look more luxurious, that's what it's all about, it's as simple as lifting those pillows up, mm -hmm. okay, now sometimes they have their, they really like their pillow, like the feather pillows, right, that mm -hmm. you try to stand them up, but they just droop automatically, because they're super comfortable, I get that, those are great for sleeping, I, I use one of those neck pillows, right? So it's got this ridge. Well, guess what? That thing is ugly. <laughs> if I try to put that standing up, it's ugly. Go to Kohl's and get the polyfilled pillows. They're the cheapest ones that you've got. They're not necessarily meant for sleeping. They're just meant to look pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. It doesn't need to, it doesn't need to be expensive. It just needs to look expensive. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Okay. So we can easily zhuzh up a bed, mm -hmm. look that up, it's in the dictionary. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My lead designer, her name is Roslyn. So now we say we Shiraz it. <laughs> Isn't that good? And then I just found that yesterday. That's a wine. I had no idea. Who knew? Anyhow. Um, hmm. Totally forgot where I was going with that. But um, the pillows. Just, pillows. Yeah. Just, just yeah. yeah, yeah. So anyhow, I guess that was all I was gonna say about that. So just making sure that those are propped up mm -hmm. straight and, and adding adding layers, right? Adding different sizes of pillows, going from the largest pillows to kind of the small mm -hmm. pillows and adding some interest there. Okay. Home offices are really important right now since the pandemic. Right. So we are we are showing buyers alternate uses for rooms that otherwise wouldn't be used. OK, mm -hmm. for instance, there are homes now when I was looking for a home several years ago, I was like, please, I don't want to see a home that has a living room. Mm -hmm. If it has a family room, that's all I need. The mm -hmm. living room has never, ever been used in any one of the houses I've ever bought. So I don't want to see one. OK, so. But we can't change that for the houses that do have these living rooms. Mm -hmm. So when possible, we're staging those living rooms as offices because now people can see, oh, I can use this for an office space. And really all I have to do is maybe add a wall mm -hmm. or maybe there's the walls are already there and there's an opening that it's an easy fill in to put the doors in there. But we're suggesting to those homeowners a different or the home buyers i'm sorry a different way to use the space that makes sense for their life now mm -hmm. okay because so many more people are going to be working from home another place that we've done this before is it was a dine it was a dining room the kitchen itself had a big like the big breakfast area mm -hmm. that looked formal enough but it was in kind of a kind of an expensive area, but it didn't have a designated office. So we decided to turn that dining room into an office instead and just use the breakfast nook as more of a formal kind mm -hmm. of open floor plan. And right. it totally worked. Wow. Okay. Another time we switched, you walked in the door and to the left was a big living room. And then right there was a the family room. So they're literally right next to each other. Mm -hmm. And over here was a small dining room that did have the French doors and it was off of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, why do we have to have this tiny little dining room mm -hmm. in this big giant living room? And since they were doing some work in the home, getting some painting and they were doing some, some lights. And I said, before you guys put these lights up, do me a favor, put the chandelier over here in the living room, mm -hmm. because I'm going to make that a larger dining room instead mm -hmm. and put the other light in here. Let's make this an office. 
fantastic. Mm. The agents were happy. The sellers were happy. They're like, why didn't we think of that? Mm -hmm. Because I'm the home stager. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's what they do. <laughs> so just, you know, kind of giving you a few ideas of the, the, like we are constantly coming up with solutions to problem areas. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. We live, eat, sleep, breathe, home staging all the time. I am not lying. The first thing I do is I'm checking my emails in the morning. The last thing I do before bed is I'm checking my emails and I shouldn't do that. <laughs> but welcome to real estate, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the kitchen tip, if you don't listen to anything else I say today, think about the agent's safety and mm -hmm. please, please, please put those knife blocks away. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know how much you guys know about the stories. Like, yep, like it gives me chills to think that it was because a knife block was left that mm. female agents have been badly injured or murdered and attacked. And it's just, it's awful. So that's the one thing that I tell people like during the consultation, as soon as I see that, that knife block, I say, if you don't listen to anything I say, listen to that and mm -hmm. just please put it away. Okay. So here's some statistics for you. Okay. The return on investment for a staged home is well over 586%, wow. especially now. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's according to bankrate.com. Okay. Um, let's see. The National Association of Realtors say 97% of buyers' agents say staging affects the buyer's view of the home. Mm -hmm. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. According to the Real Estate Staging Association, homes staged before going to the market sell in 90% less time. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. that's true. Okay. I would much prefer to have that home staged from the very start. Mm -hmm. It breaks my heart when I give somebody a staging proposal, $3,500 for the staging proposals, what I've presented. Mm -hmm. And they say, hmm. I'm just going to put it on the market and see what happens. And if it doesn't sell, then I'll call you. Mm -hmm. oh, it's going to, I guarantee you, it's going to cost you more than $3,500 if you do that. Yeah. They're like, oh, you're going to raise the price? No, my, my price is good for the next 30 days. Mm -hmm. I said, but what you're going to do is you're going to incur all of those carrying costs. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to have to do a price reduction to get it back up on the top of right, exactly. the search. Yeah. Yeah. They don't believe me. And they'll call me a month later. I should have staged it to start with. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm like, but let's let's fix it. Let's fix it now. And yes, unfortunately, you will have to take a price reduction. Mm -hmm. But that's between you, your you and your agent, really. Like you decide that, but it ends up costing them more in the long run. So get it done right the first time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the last one, according to realtor.com, was staged home so 80%. 8% faster and for 20% more. Mm. Okay. My personal statistics are at least this, if not better. Mm. Okay. Prior to the market going crazy, our, my stats were 90% of the homes that we staged, whether it was consultation or vacant or photo prep, whatever it was, 90% of them sold in under 14 days. Most of them in 48 hours, but I had to do up to 14 days because of the houses that we saved. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and they sold at or above list price. Okay. 90% of my clients at or above list price before the market went nuts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, since the market went, went nuts, then everything has been over list, mm -hmm. but I'm seeing homes still, even in this crazy market, taking price reductions that were way over mm -hmm. because 90% of the clients that have turned this down suffered days on market over 60 and significant price reductions well over the initial, what that initial staging investment would have been. Mm -hmm. Okay. So our stats are there. Um, I haven't done recently the stats only because we have been literally so busy and we've been growing so fast. I can't even keep up. So I have somebody working on literally, she comes in every Friday. She's a college student. And I say, here's all of our info. Can you put it in the graph for me? <laughs> so she's been working on it like crazy, but yeah, it was, it's been, it has been crazy in such a good way. Um, and I'm, I'm loving it. I love what I do. Absolutely. 
Awesome. So here's where I would normally hand it over to my partner, Janine, mm -hmm. but she's not here. So, mm -hmm. hi, I'm Janine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk about photography and the importance of photography today for you. Okay. Here's the difference between amateur and professional. The one on your left is done by an amateur. That would be me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was taken with my cell phone. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. But if you look at it, like the first thing that I notice is it looks like the room is tilted, tilted yeah. right? Eh. I didn't notice that at first, right? But and, and you don't really like get an idea of the full room, the full space, like what's happening. The one on the left, I'm sorry, the one on the right is done by hers truly, Janine, right? And you can see the difference. The room looks much brighter, the margins are straight, and she is very careful to make sure that she makes sense of the home. As you look through and you can see the dining room chairs right there. Oh, okay, this is the room right off the dining room. Yeah. And you understand the flow as you're looking through the pictures, right? That's really important for buyers to understand the flow of the room as well. And she wants to make it look as bright and airy as possible, mm -hmm. too. Okay, so what are the benefits? This I will have to read a little bit, I'm sorry. Um, oh, I think this is backwards. No, so, okay. So the benefits of, of using the professional photography is where can you use this? Not just in MLS, which is important, right? Because where are people looking for their homes? Online, right? Even before you can pull up listings, they're already looking on Zillow and realtor.com at what they want to see, okay? So they're looking online, so you can use those photos for that, okay? You can now use those photos on your own website. That is your portfolio, right? That's what's going to make you shine. Where else? You can use them on social media. You can take segments of those pictures and reuse them over and over repurpose them mm -hmm. right so those pictures are for you to use how you how you need okay it's all about your portfolio all about your brand all about making you look as amazing as you can okay um Okay, so like I said a little while ago, Janine offers all of these services, the photography, the video, the Matterport. The only thing that she didn't put in here was that she does the measurements as well. Okay. What is Matterport? So Matterport, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> I'm going to slowly walk over here. Let's see how I can do this. Um, I never remember. How do I do like a reduce the screen? I think it's here. Okay. Matterport. So here's an example of what Matterport is. Mm -hmm. So this is where you can, you see those dots, you can kind of click on the dots and oh, it kind of walks you through the, the room, floor. right? Mm -hmm. So you can see the floor plan that way. You can go back and you kind of, see, I think you kind of spin, I'm kind of dragging it mm -hmm. and moving it around and I can walk through the home and see the floor plan a little bit. Pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can Always even go. When I'm trying to do that. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, you can go up the stairs and everything. So I love it. I think it's such a cool. I think it's so cool. Yeah. I didn't so know that's what it was called. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. So that's what Matterport is. Janine is just the sweetest, sweetest thing mm -hmm. that you will ever meet. <laughs> she, uh, yeah, you, you would, you would love her. So I'm, I'm bummed that she can't be here, but I'm happy that she can't be as well, just because of the situation. Mm -hmm. So happy to be doing this for her. So this is her photography as well. This is one of the homes that we worked. This is one of the first homes actually that we worked on together, if I'm not mistaken. So one thing that was nice about this space here, the large picture, this was uh, an addition to the home. And it, so it used to be kind of the patio area, but and it was very open with all these big windows, but it had this tile on the floor that was 
it, like it was a very confusing room and it felt very cold mm-hmm. okay for being inside the home it just felt a little bit cold so I said okay well what can we do and so I decided I said why don't I turn this space into what looks like more of a sunroom mm-hmm. instead so we used outdoor furniture indoors and we kind of, we really just elevated that that space and warmed it up by using the jute rug there especially okay. with all the windows mm-hmm. 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 So you can, you'll notice too, you can see out those windows, mm-hmm. right? If I tried to take a picture of it, mm, nope, it wouldn't happen. Like she knows how to do photography where it looks good and where you can see through the windows. My son is a photographer as well. And that was something he struggled with forever. So he's starting to work with her and she's teaching him some of that mm-hmm. stuff. So it's pretty exciting. Okay. Um, Another thing that I wanted to point out was the bottom picture in that dining room. I made sure I used a table that made sense for that room. It was Mm -hmm. kind of a square dining room. So it made more sense to either use a square table or a round table. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it would feel like really open over here, but really tight over here, Mm -hmm. right? So we make sure we're using again, that properly sized furniture. So you'll notice in in the kitchen, funny story is we did a presentation at this home, her and I together, and we walked a group of realtors like yourself through the home. I want to say there was like five realtors that day. Mm -hmm. So we walked them through the home. And so we happened to be standing literally right from where this picture was being taken. We were talking to them, just making some small talk at the end of our presentation. And about 15 minutes later, somebody says, that light fixture, it's kind of ugly. And I said, yeah, it is. How long did it take you to notice it? <laughs> and the other, and one of the other guys says, "Oh yeah, it doesn't matter because I I already I what did he say? He says it doesn't matter because I submitted my offer 15 minutes ago. Oh, wow. Right? He says he goes I never would have even noticed that because we distracted from it. Oh, right? Wow. And her pictures were so amazing online that they were already emotionally connected to the property mm-hmm. before they ever stepped foot in the door. Right. So and the light fixture, that's an easy fix. Yep. Yeah. Yep. People are. But if the room, if it was vacant, then that would have been one of the oh, first things oh that they said, oh gosh, we got to get a new light fixture. Oh mm-hmm. man, we can paint these cabinets. Oh, we're going to have to get new countertops. And mm-hmm. oh, look at the paint job. Like, eh, it's kind of, eh. right. Mm-hmm. Although that wasn't the case for this one because they did, they did follow all of a, a lot of our recommendations. I should say, we did ask them to change out light fixtures. They didn't do that but it was fine. I said, you know, these are all the things that in a perfect world, I would say to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I believe this one was before the market went crazy as well, because her her and I've been working together for a while. So had to be before the market went crazy. And so they had this one listed. It was a total frenzy at the open house. I knew that they, they listed it on Friday night and they were having an open house on Saturday. And Usually I hear from the agents after they've seen the property, hey, it looks great. You know, thank you so much. But I hadn't heard from him. And I thought, oh no. Right. Did I not do a good job? (laughs) Right. I was like, oh, and so I send him a text, said, hey, just wanted to follow up and make sure everything was everything was good. Were you satisfied, happy? No answer. And I thought, oh no, this Mm -hmm. can't be good. So I happened to know the wife as well. And she had messaged me on Sunday, um, completely off topic. And so we chatted and I said, hey, your husband didn't reply about the house. Like, just want to make sure it all went good. She goes, oh, she goes, yeah, I haven't seen him. He's been in the office all day. His phone is ringing off the hook. Oh, wow. He says, she says, I think it went well. <laughs> Phew, okay, good. <laughs> so I, I don't even remember how many offers they had. I think they ended up at like forty-five to $50,000 over list. Again, wow. before the market went crazy, mm-hmm. right? Because everything, that the whole marketing package, mm-hmm. right? Everything that he did as the agent, everything that we did as the stagers and everything that the photographer did, mm-hmm. which was Janine, okay? She had video and everything. I was hoping to, to find the video. Mm-hmm. I couldn't, I wasn't able to pull it up. So, okay. Here's some more examples of her photography and how she brightens things up. And like I say, you know, she, she makes sure that you're kind of seeing what's, 
what's going on next in the next room over. She does an amazing job with the outside spaces because those are really important too. Um, making sure that she's showing like, hey, this is the flow of the street too even, right? This is the, the entire porch, not just from the front, but that side view, mm -hmm. okay? She had a story about this one. This was, and some of those pictures got duplicated and sorry, I didn't realize, I didn't realize that this was the slide. I should have fixed it yesterday. But there, she has a story about this home that was vacant. Uh, this is before her and I met and she really, she didn't really know much about staging, but this particular home had been listed and it didn't sell. They got a new agent. She, like the original photos were all done again by cell phone. They were very dark, very, mm -hmm. really like rarely any showings at all. Mm -hmm. And she said she went in and did the photography, brightened it all up and it, it was sold quickly thereafter. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, I don't remember necessarily that whole story. I wish I did remember, but she could definitely tell it better. So I apologize for that. But even something as simple as just doing, all you do is just like one thing or the other, like something is better than nothing, mm -hmm. okay? And the better photography was definitely helpful for her there, mm -hmm. okay? And again, I couldn't find a video. <laughs> <laughs> so bummed. Um, and then we did, did just talk about the Matterport, but her video is so beautifully done. She puts music in the background. It's very, it's very smooth and it's just slow enough so that you can really kind of absorb the whole room, but at the same time, not so slow that you're like, all right, move on. Right. right? It's a perfect, it, it's just put together perfectly. She does such a beautiful job with that. And of course, and she has, like I said, she's got this package deal where all of those things are included. Mm -hmm. I mean, why would you not, right? right? So we would love to be a part of your team, right? Because it is all about making you look good. Everything that we do makes you as the agent look like the superhero, right. okay? Um, <clears throat> so we do offer a package deal to help save you money as the agent. Okay, my, my consultations are $2.99. And again, like you missed that part, I think. Mm -hmm. So that is for the two hour consultation and I'm going into the occupied home and I'm working with the home sellers and telling them everything that they need to do. Mm -hmm. So do they need to update their carpets? Do they need to update the lighting? Do they need to change the paint color? And if so, what paint color do they need? Mm -hmm. And let me show you some lighting options. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them like, I'm going to tell them like for the lights, hey, like you just need something that's a similar style, but it's not all rusted up. Just go to Restore. Mm -hmm. You can probably find something for $5. Like mm -hmm. I'm all about trying to save them the most money possible mm -hmm. for something that is not that they're not going to be keeping. They're just trying to update their home, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Then I'm going to talk about their furniture placement. And then I'm going to talk about their art placement. And if there's enough time, which a lot of times there is, we'll start setting up some accessories for them as well. So in the two hours that I'm there, I am pretty much nonstop talk and they're taking down pages and pages of notes <laughs> that I'm giving them. Mm -hmm. And I let them know, I said, listen, like I'm telling you everything, best case scenario, you are still in control and you get to decide what you, what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are times, especially for something like something simple. I'm just saying, just do this. But something that costs money, I'm going to kind of give them a little bit of priority list. So I'm going to tell them that goes high in the priority list. This is, yeah, if you can find a good deal. And this is icing on the cake. So low priority mm -hmm. to get that fixed or replaced or updated. But so I'm going to kind of give them that scale so that they understand really what's the most important. Mm -hmm. Because for this home in particular, super important for you to replace these 20 year old carpets that the dogs have peed right, on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. For your home, it's super important to paint that hot pink mm. primary yeah. bedroom, yeah. <laughs> right? So everybody's priorities are going to be a little bit different, mm -hmm. but I'm helping them work through all of that. Right. Okay. So, and of course, you know, Janine with her, with their amazing photography is just going to like it's going to benefit you in so many more ways than just the home sellers, mm -hmm. like, because it's going to benefit you with your marketing in mm -hmm. the future yeah. as well. Okay. So 
Oh, I talked about mine, sorry. Um, there we go. So if you book the staging consultation with me, like I said, that's normally $2.99 and you book her big package, she calls it the big one. That includes all four of those things, the photography, the video, the Matterport and the measurements is $3.99. Then we will take $50 off total after you've booked both the services. So basically you'll pay me the $2.99 and you'll reduce hers by $50. And then after that point, then I give her, <laughs> right? So that's, a, that's the way that we, that we've worked that out our partnership, but you'll get $50 off by booking both of us together. Okay. And we try to do a lot of communications as well between each other. If it ends up being like a photo prep stage, then I can tell Janine, Hey, I'm going to be photo prepping this house or I'm going to vacant stage this house. Cause sometimes that happens too, even after a consult, um, I'm going to be doing it this day. Like, can we get you in the day after? Okay, so we're we're giving you guys kind of this these priorities um, to make sure we get you get you all in. But I will say we do both book in advance at least about two weeks. Okay, I'm usually booked about two weeks in advance mm -hmm. for a consultation. Sometimes I can squeeze people in like mm -hmm. that same week. I do my best to try and squeeze people in whenever I possibly can, but a vacant stage, there's going to be limited, there's going to be limited slots available in the next two weeks, if any at all. Like right now, I, I don't, I don't think I have an available vacant stage until probably October 12th or 13th. Wow. So we're, we're booked back to back, but I can always kind of put them on a wait list. If their house is ready. So, Hey, like there's reschedules like all the time. Even this week we had two that had to be rescheduled. Mm -hmm. So if something like that pops up then I can squeeze them in, then we'll do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's about our bundled services. So here's something that I want to remind agents. It is your fiduciary duty to act in the best interest of the client because your job is to get them the most money for their home. Mm -hmm. Right. And by using professional services like staging and photography, you are doing that that duty for them. Okay. You are offering it to them by not offering it to them. You're kind of holding them back a little bit. Okay. Let them decide mm -hmm. you offer it. You let them decide if they want to follow through, but at least you've offered and you've done your duty. Okay. So that about sums up my presentation for you today. Do we have, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys think about a question while I take a sip of my water. <laughs> I don't know, how did I do? Oh, just an hour, wow. It's usually, I usually talk for about an hour and a half, so I'm sure I missed something. Well, Janine's not here, so mm -hmm. she probably would have added at least another 30 minutes. Yeah, she would have had a lot more to say about hers. Um, personally, I mean, I think her photos speak for themselves but she does she has some she has some fun stories again i wish i can remember what some of those were but um i mean i can tell you some of our our stories as well we had one recently the home was in wake forest it was he was so much fun the homeowner he called me it wasn't the agent that called me he called me because his wife was in a networking group that i'm in um a Facebook networking group. I don't know her necessarily, but networking women of the triangle. Do you guys know that group? You need to get into that What's group. Networking yeah. women of the triangle. There are, uh, I'm pretty sure it's over 10,000 members of the triangle. Oh, wow. It's a big group. It's one of the more popular networking groups. So if you're looking for somebody to do something, you can post in there and you're going to, you're going to find a person like almost immediately. Okay. I personally also have a vendor list that I have vetted, used myself or my clients have used, and I've been happy with their services um, and they have a proven track record. So if there are vendors that you need, by all means, just give me a ring and uh, I'll be happy to pass those names along. But so she's a part of that group. I don't necessarily know her, but I guess she said she just did a search for home stager. And she says, Sheree, she says, your name just kept on coming up. So I realized you were the person to contact. Right. Awesome. Love that. So, so I went to the home and it was one of those situations is, okay, we've already moved out. This is all the furniture that we don't want. Mm -hmm. So let me know what we can keep here. And I said, okay, 
You just told me you don't want this, right? Yeah. I said, what makes you think your buyers are going to want to see it? Right. Hmm. Good point. Okay, done. <laughs> I said, great. I said, okay, here's an, so he hired me to do like the, the consultation ahead of time, just to kind of see what needed to get done. So then we went through the home and I told him, you know, let's change out these light fixtures. Let's paint these colors. Um, there was one room. It was the office happened to have like kind of a white beige carpet. Well, I actually told him to use snowbound on the walls and it, which I don't know if you're familiar with the Sherwin Williams colleagues, but it's a, it's a beautiful, like creamy white. Mm -hmm. It's still white, but it's like, it's not this bright white in your face. It just has a, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful mm -hmm. and pure white trim. So I'll never forget. He sent me a picture, he texted me a picture. He says, it's white on white on white. I'm nervous. And I said, trust the process. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Just trust the process. And his wife says, thank you. He's freaking out over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he was, he was so funny. It was just everything that I said, he goes, okay, done. Like and literally just like that with the whole pointing and done. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this guy. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, he said, we, we had the home stage. He, he loved it. That the, the, the couple was super, super happy. They had it listed on Friday with the open house scheduled on Saturday that was starting at 10 a.m. So they went, it was like 10 minutes beforehand just to kind of see what was going on. And he took a video and he's like, Sheree, it's 10 minutes before. And he pans the street and it's lined up with cars. Oh, wow. And there are people all around the house waiting to get in. He says, I can't even believe what's happening wow. right now. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was crazy. And he says, yeah, we're cutting off that Sunday at 7 p.m. all offers to have a decision decision by Monday. Wow. And he sent me a message. He's, I don't even know how many offers it was. I don't remember that number, but I will not forget when he told me. And this was priced at 430 mm -hmm. something, 430 something. I, mm -hmm. I don't remember what that number was exactly, but he says $125,000 over list. Wow. Wow. So it was like a 25% increase, wow. right? Over list price. He says it was a frenzy in there. Mm -hmm. And the agent that was there, she did, it was like a, it was a joint agent because the, the actual agent was brand new. So this was her first listing. Right, yeah. So her sponsor or however that works mm -hmm. is, however that works she was there at the open house and she says in my 20 years of doing real estate i have never experienced that wow wow so yes yeah, <laughs> yeah it was huge it was it, that was a big win so super super happy about that i had a question i forgot what i was going to ask um it'll come back to me okay Actually, I thought of a, a question that I was just asked yesterday. How do you present this to your clients, mm -hmm. right? You want your clients to understand that when I come in or a stager, your professionally trained stager, whoever it is, if you don't want to work with me, just be sure that you're using a professionally trained home stager that has insurance because mm -hmm. that's super important mm -hmm. because if I come in and I pick up this microphone and I move it and somehow it falls out of my hands and that microphone is worth $750, mm -hmm. eh, right. we want insurance mm -hmm. <laughs> for that microphone, right? So anyhow, so whoever you are working with, oh, make sure that the home seller understands, like when we come in, what we're talking about, it has nothing to do with their style, mm -hmm. has nothing to do with their interior design, but everything about making their home marketable. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not going to be about how you live in the home. It's going to be how we market the home. Right. Okay. So I know for myself, like I'm very sensitive to people and I can read people pretty quickly to know how did they need to be treated? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you the kind of person that I can say, yeah, I need this house to be so clean. It looks like nobody's ever cleaned that toilet. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> because I know that I, that laughter is their key. Uh -huh. Or do I need to be a little bit gentler with mm -hmm. you and say, oh, I'm so like, you're right. That it is such a beautiful piece. And how cool is that, that you got that from your grandmother. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> but I really hate to see that get damaged in an open house when the little kids come in with right. their hot wheels yeah. and whatever. Oh my gosh, you're right. I better put that away. Right. 
Yeah, good idea. <laughs> right? So there are some people that I have to, they are, I don't know if you guys have ever done the DISC personality. Have you ever heard that? It's a D-I-S-C. And the D is a very dominant kind of personality. It's all about numbers. It's they just need the facts and you don't need to sugarcoat anything. You just need to tell them the way that it is and they'll get it done. Right. So I'm definitely an S. I'm more of a sensitive person, kind of. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, like, do you, I don't even know, like, if that's necessary. That's just how I remember it. Right. Mm -hmm. So opposite personalities are sometimes hard to kind of connect. Well, I've learned how to connect with those people. Mm -hmm. And I've learned that with this particular client, I could tell within two seconds, he's a D. Now I know how to how to respond, right? And that was actually over the phone. Mm -hmm. So I made sure I went in with my heels on that. Let me tell you, I hate mm -hmm. <sighs> mean heels don't get along, but I knew I had to wear them that day mm -hmm. because I needed to be bold and confident. I need to make sure that I presented myself confidently and I needed to make sure that he wasn't going to run me over. Mm -hmm. Right. So I went in and I told him, I said, listen, here's the deal. If you listen to everything that I say, you will sell your home in less than 48 hours at or above list. That is what will happen. If you listen to a portion of what I say, you'll probably still sell quickly, but you probably won't go over list. Mm -hmm. If you don't listen to anything I say, you're going to suffer days on market and you're going to take a price reduction. Right. I had to talk to him that flat out. Mm -hmm. He got it. It's like, phew. okay, mm -hmm. good. At the, so we go through the whole consultation. I was very like, this is, I need you to do this. I need you to do this. And I need you to do this. And one of the things I told him was, I really, I need you because we were going to, we were going to vacant stage this home. I was bringing all of the items in. I need you to paint this dining room because right now it's purple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Normally I have purple hair. <laughs> so yeah. it didn't, I had like, okay. So hashtag go look at chicken. I'll explain that in a minute, but I, um, I, I had COVID at the beginning of the year and oh. after COVID my hair changed and it stopped taking the color. Really? So we're going through this whole process of getting my hair healthy so I can get the purple back because I really miss it. Oh, <laughs> it is my thing. Everybody yeah. knows, Oh, the girl with purple hair. Yep. I know her. <laughs> so anyhow, yeah, it's, so I'll explain chicken in a bit. Mm -hmm. Um, Okay, so I told him, I said, clearly I love purple, mm -hmm. but I don't love it in the dining room. Right, and I yeah. don't want this to turn off people. Right. So I really need you to do that. And I really like this chandelier, beautiful chandelier, but it doesn't fit in this home. Mm -hmm. It's very elaborate, inter intricate, and it's beautiful. I said, but I said, if we're going to be changing out these light fixtures out of the whole 1990 style um, mm -hmm. by simply just replacing the glass and going mm -hmm. from that yellowy, globe just replace the glass it's five dollars mm -hmm. like that's it if you're going to be doing that then let's go ahead and replace the chandelier as well again i'm going to send you to restore and go find one it could be builder grade i don't care the home is four hundred fifty thousand dollar home go do a builder grade it's going to be better than this mm -hmm. right so i told him that when we were going through the home at the end we're standing by the front door and he says okay can can we talk about that chandelier again and i was like sure and he says, my wife really loves that chandelier. And I said, okay, does your wife live here? <laughs> mm. Like, I would never do that to most clients. I would never be that way. But I knew that that was the only way to get through to him. Mm -hmm. And he says, no. And I said, so take it down and put it in your new yeah, home. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, that's a good idea. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so, I just like, I have a way with knowing how people need to be talked to mm -hmm. so that I can get my point across and I can make them happy. Like they might not be happy. I've had, I've had a handful of people just be, like I said, that one lady at the beginning, you missed that one. When I gave her a $15,000 punch list, I was really glad I was on the phone because I was certain she was going to punch me in the throat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was not happy with me, mm -hmm. but at the end, once it was staged and once she got over list after not being able to sell, she sung my praises, right? So only one time, I will admit only one time that I have a dissatisfied client. Mm -hmm. He didn't have much reason to be dissatisfied because it got his home sold immediately and at list price, like he had no reason to, he just didn't like the style that we staged the home.
He's like, I don't like that. I don't like that. And he was so disappointed. I'm like, well, right. You're not the buyer. You're not. You're not buying this home. Not only that, so, that's the reason we're having to stay here. Yes. <laughs> So even though he didn't like it, his agent finally talked him down. He never spoke another word to me after like, it was, it was a very uncomfortable situation. Like I, I ended up having to go back, but I made my husband go with me because I, I actually yeah. didn't feel safe. Yeah. It was, it was that bad. I was like, Oh yeah, yeah. you need to come with me. I'm not going there by myself. Yeah. No way. I was really glad that my delivery guy, um, was a big guy and he was there like when yeah. he was telling me all these things he didn't like because I was like what yeah. never had so one time full confession I will I'm not afraid to admit like mm -hmm. when I'm wrong mm -hmm. but that I was like oh no yeah. this was that was a little interesting so mm -hmm. but otherwise complete satisfaction mm -hmm. um you know we've I've I work with a handful of agents on a regular basis that they have been agents for 15 to 20 years. And one in particular, she had kind of been interviewing different stages and kind of trying them out. And she says, you know, I used them a couple of times and she was just, it just didn't click. And she goes, and then I found you. Mm -hmm. And I've been working with her for well, well, since before the pandemic started, I guess. Um, that's when she found me and she's been super happy. And um, all of her listings, everything like if, unless if it's an occupied home like then that's a different story but all of her vacant homes she has this come in and stage um, um i have a couple of, i have three other agents that tell that have told me they're like we won't even accept a home we won't even accept a listing unless they agree to stage the home with you oh, wow but they have they are at that point in their business that they get to decide who their clients are going to be mm -hmm. and who they get to work with right. because of the success that we've had over the last several years, they're at that point now mm -hmm. that they can do that. So yeah. they make it part of their package. Um, some agents will pay for maybe half of that staging investment. Some will pay for all of it mm -hmm. because they're doing that 7% commission. Um, it's all, you know, they're, each one of them is a little bit different, but um, yeah, but we have a handful of agents that have, that just use us because we, we've done an amazing job with them. So, so um, <clears throat> the question that I had before was when the line was wrapped around the corner with this, with this uh, property, was that before or after the pandemic? Oh, that was... That or took me a no second to figure out what you were talking about. Uh, that was just recently. That was just oh, a couple months ago. Okay. And yeah. so with um, your prices, what's the lowest and, and how high? Good question. Good question. The minimum starts at about 20, it starts at $2,500. Mm -hmm. Okay. But what does that get you? That's something I need to put in here. I don't mm -hmm. know why I didn't do that. So what do you get for your initial staging investment? What you're getting is the... Um, all the design prep that's ahead of time, you get the delivery, the actual staging service, plus you get up to two months of inventory rental to stay in the home to get you through due diligence, right? So we will destage the home after due diligence, but before closing, mm -hmm. right? Because that closing, their final walkthrough, really the home really needs to be empty, mm -hmm. right? Um, so we will de that also includes that destaging, returning it back to the warehouse and putting it back on the shelves. Okay. So 99% of the time, I haven't had to charge a, a recurring rental fee. I, I don't know the last time I did it, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not making that up. I really don't remember the last time I did that. Mm -hmm. So it's been a while. So most people are under contract and through due diligence in less than that two months so we're good and we can mm -hmm. get it all back so that initial investment covers all of that now i had said earlier that typically it's about one half to one percent of the list price mm -hmm. so i will go through the home and i'll 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 give them examples and i'll say okay we can stage these rooms like these are going to be kind of the key rooms to stage and i'll give them options like these are the ones you absolutely like you really got to do it a minimum here is okay. Yep. This is going to definitely be helpful. This is icing on the cake, but it may or may not 
make or break the sale of the home. So I'm probably not going to recommend this one anyways. I'm, this is really the, probably the recommended package, the one right in the middle. Okay. But before, I, like when I price it all out and I think about, okay, how long is this job going to take us? Because most of that fee is the labor. It's like I said, 50 to 70 hours mm -hmm. of work is happening in a typical home mm -hmm. in the $1.5 million home that's 8,000 square feet probably going to be a two day job. So probably going to be twice as much as that. Right. Mm -hmm. So once I work out that price, I look at that price and I say, okay, is that between one half and 1%? Yes. Good. Then I priced it out correctly. And I've given them the best use of their money mm -hmm. by saying that these are the rooms because if it's way too low, I'm not doing that home enough justice. And if it's too high, I'm probably staging too many rooms. Mm -hmm. So let me take a room. Let me make sure that it falls within those industry standards mm -hmm. because that that's what kind of tells me am i, am I staging correctly mm -hmm. right and that i'm usually falling in that point anyways i'm you know i've been doing it long enough now that i kind of know like yes for this price point for this floor plan i know that these are the key rooms that need to get staged and i know it's going to fall within the right within the right numbers okay so that's kind of an example so how high does it go <laughs> how high is the home price okay, <laughs> really so it's right just it's one half of the price. yeah one half to one percent is kind of a a good range to assume that is going to fall in there so i try not to get that one percent but if you think about like if we're going to do a three hundred fifty thousand dollar home and it's pretty complicated and there's like four rooms like four key rooms it's probably going to be close to that 3500 so it's probably going to be that 30 that one percent mm -hmm. of list because of the home price because of where it's at but then as you get more expensive well the the million dollar home is probably going to be closer to the one half percent because that's now we're talking five to ten thousand dollar investment mm -hmm. it's probably going to be closer to the five thousand than it is going to be the ten thousand mm -hmm. unless we are really going for the gusto and staging a lot more rooms and it's going to take two days or whatever it is so we try to make it make sense though. Mm -hmm. I never want to oversell services because why? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I'd rather make everybody happy and have the agent come back again because I satisfied their clients, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I never, I never oversell anything. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of the, that's kind of the typical. So a typical staging job, honestly, is usually right around 3,500 to 5,000. That's kind of been our typical okay. okay but there is that minimum of twenty five hundred dollars uh because of like there's that base pay of just covering our overhead okay. really okay. so um i felt like there was one more question that was just asked yesterday Yeah, I didn't remember. I don't remember what it was. Oh, I promised you my chicken story. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So here's the deal. Many, many years ago, I think this was maybe even before kids, I saw this t-shirt and I, my, my husband and I saw this t-shirt and he says, we have to get you this shirt because it says, my husband thinks I have ADD, but I think he's, oh, look at chicken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you will know, like, if you ever see a staged home and there is a chicken in the kitchen, mm -hmm. it's a good chance it was probably mine. <laughs> so that's our secret little brand oh, that okay. we do in all of our stages. Yeah. It's just, again, it's that personality, yeah. right? Because I think I have a personality and I want the homes to have a little bit of personality. Yeah. We aren't necessarily these whimsical, like, people necessarily we don't want to put like too much whimsy in a home but we also have like a little see no evil hear no evil speak no evil mm -hmm. little the little frogs and we have like a little yoga frog and we have like these fun little pieces that mm -hmm. will will make sure that every home gets a touch of whimsy but in some way shape or form and it also gets a chicken because <laughs> wow. it's kind of our work mascot it's yeah. kind of, it was I was a homeschool mom so it was our school mascot wow. like it, wow. yeah it's just a family joke now about the chicken mm -hmm. too many chickens in your head yep yeah <laughs> the creative brain ADD it just goes hand in hand mm -hmm. <laughs> it's who we are awesome. so anyhow 
Well, okay. if I gave you both my cards. Yes. I didn't get the card. Oh, oh you did. Oh, that's right. You came in later. And then um, I know Sharon took some, but I'll mm -hmm. give some too to Maybe. Michaela at the front desk. Sure. Um, that we could definitely give out to people because yeah. it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You're welcome. And yeah, if, if we had enough time to realize, but it her thing came up last night. So yeah. um, we didn't know ahead of time that she wasn't going to make it. No worries. So, yeah, it was still good. Um, Thank you. Sorry, I, I should. How do you pronounce the last yeah. name? Medeiros. Okay. Yes. Let's <clears throat> 